So the steps I did was the following from the battery and that's the ground everything goes over here to uh, the cable, the wiring harness and the wiring harness is connected to the ALC we have the switch, there's a switch there where you can turn it off and on and that goes down here to that ALC box this is the brain behind the instead of using a CAN bus, this is much better um, then it goes down here, there's a split one is going into the uh, light and the other one is coming back to the box here and around to the uh, power cable to the um, LED bar you can see it's connected down here and the wire is going through a small gap there uh, there's a rubber seal uh, down there maybe we can see it here you can see it is hidden behind there going into those uh, that grill behind those fins and on the top of them so I think the total installation time is about an hour uh, most of the time I used on the uh, LED bar because there's a lot of measuring to make it perfect in the middle and also uh, there's a curve on that grill behind so you have to get it uh, far enough out uh, I think I ended up on nine yeah nine centimeters from the fin to the uh, outer edge on each side of the LED bar um, there's a little gap behind there but it's not touching so it shouldn't be any problem with uh, vibration sound or something yeah and the, and the rest was uh, pretty simple just uh, routing the cables where uh, there's cables before and attaching the uh, ALC box uh, with some double-sided tape and that's pretty much it so yeah